Senior forward Brandon Blandina hails from a town 1,500 miles west of Moon Township in Centennial, Colorado, a place he holds very close to his heart. I don't know, Colorado's always been my home. Uh, it holds a special spot in my heart. I always brag about it to tell my friends, so uh, it's, I don't know, it's a, it's a unique place, so it's different from a lot of other places. There's the mountains and you have the plains and um, there's a lot of nice scenery there so, too, so I love it. Growing up in a small hockey market, Blandina spent most of his early hockey years traveling all over North America. Growing up in Colorado though, it was kind of hard because um, it's, it's not really close to a lot of other good hockey markets, although it is a good hockey market in itself. Um, so there's a lot of travel involved, so growing up as a kid I flew everywhere, so I got a lot of frequent flyer miles under my belt. As a young player and throughout his career, Blandino's father Mike influenced him the most. Well, he got me started and he's pretty much pushed me the whole way. Um, there's definitely been other coaches and um, pro stars that you know I've admired, but um, I think my dad pretty much is one of the biggest influential people in my life. Blandina came to RMU excited to be part of the young hockey program and to play alongside his junior teammate. Well, I was playing juniors in, for the Indiana Ice. I actually played with Ron Kramer. Um, I was on the line with him. And um, they, Robert Morris had been talking to him, and I hadn't um, really talked to any of the schools. And they started talking to me, recruiting me, and um, I don't know, I, I just, I was kind of interested in it. And, I thought you know it'd be nice to go to school with one you know someone I knew. Um, so I did a little bit more research, research on the school, and I found that it was a smaller school, which I liked because um, I like smaller class sizes. And um, I don't know, I thought it was a great opportunity since it was a young program to try and help build the program and make it what it is today. His favorite part about college hockey are his teammates. I don't know, definitely, definitely the teammates, because in the past I haven't, I've never been with a, a team. Um, as long as I have with this group of guys for four years, especially the seniors, a class of 10 guys we have. So, um, you know, I've grown really close to those guys. And I think that's probably what I like best about. As assistant captain, Blandina's leadership style is louder than most. Um, I'm definitely vocal. All the guys know it, sometimes hate it. Um, I definitely got a loud mouth, but I try to lead by example on the ice too, um, just by, you know, always working hard, um, always just, playing simple hockey and leading by example. With the season coming to a close, Blandina and the Colonials are looking to accomplish their goals by capturing the AHA title. Uh, personal goals obviously would be to um, win the uh, AHA championship. Um, and I'd like to be, you know, have our team win the league play as well. I know we're only a few points out of first place, so it's definitely attainable. Um, at the beginning of the year, our team set up a bunch of goals um, that, both of those were included in our goals. We had a couple other goals um, that went along with it, but I think definitely uh, the two main ones would be to you know, win the championship and then move on to the tournament.